Okay, so this is a talk about Voodoo Station version 10. And the first thing I want to work on is the interface because it's the main change that's going to happen. So I created a script editor that allowed me to use scripts to create knobs and buttons. And uh, I'm also going to be using the same script to create the actual interface. So let me load a file here. File, so let me load the uh, load knob one. You can see that it's processes, processing. And uh, usually when we talk about uh, stuff like this done in real time, it's very heavy for the program because a, a lot of stuff are happening here. So we have a, a layer fixer, a layer that rotates and we have the blur. Blur takes a lot of CPU usage. Uh, let me load a more complex knob here. Those, those are just tests uh, that I have done. So this this is one that's very complex. Uh, the big one here is the actual size, and then I can stre uh, stretch or scale down to any size I wanted on the interface. So when you uh, resize the interface, it just scales the the buttons. It doesn't have to redraw any, everything. But uh, you can see here that there's a lot of or stuff going stuff going on on the script. And this is not being done real time because if it is going to be done in real time, it's going to slow down the interface a lot. And I didn't want that. Uh, there are some programs that does that in real time. And in the end, they have to change it because it was just killer. Like the first, uh, well, I'm not going to see the name, but there was a company that the first interface was like that. And then they changed it and now it's fine. It's very fast because it's no longer in real time. But uh, if I go here and process, you can see that it takes a while to process the file and create the pictures. Oh, sorry, I have changed something in my file. Let me load again. Well, it can be this one too. But uh, okay, anyway, let me, let me explain why this is a big deal and why this took me so long to make and why I didn't want to show anyone <laughs> about this before because it's, there's not much to show in here and I didn't want people to feel like oh come on you took all this time to make this crappy little editor well there's more to it than you could think here on the right there are all the options you can add to the script and all the, the tex textures you can use so let me load again uh, this, where is the guy, customize this one, because it customizes the background too. Uh, I added, I did add some, something somewhere because, uh, come on, what did I do? Uh, I messed up the, the knob somehow. I'm going to fix it later. I'm still working on this code, so apologize for that. But uh, okay, so when it processes the file, it's not creating a big image, a big uh, picture with a lot of small pictures stitched to each other. Like, uh, let me show how on the Vuzik Station, for example. Vuzik Station, skins, default. Knob, knob zero one. I think is the larger one. So, oops. so this is the knob zero one. You can see that there's a bunch of knobs all stitched together in a very large file. The actual file size is not very large. It's just twenty five kilobytes because the the picture is small, so it's not a big deal. But instead of that, what I'm, I'm generating is actually these files here. The fixed bottom, the layer that rotates, the fixed top that goes on, on top of the bottom. And then I have also have the LED uh, 
pictures. So it's one, two, three, four. Four pictures. And they are draw in real time, which doesn't take a lot of resource. It's very easy to draw. But the whole process of creating these pictures is very complex. You can see that I have a lot of layers here. The layer top, then I draw a line and rot rotate the layer. Uh, other layer top, draw another line, rotate. So this is creating this, uh, these lines here at the start and the end. And then the, the layer top, which is start a rotation uh, loop, which draws a square and bevel square, which is doing all this small square here. And then do, does a blur and sets op opacity to 0 0.6. And so on and so on. Then you have the layer rotate and the layer brightness. You can see there's a layer brightness in here. So there's a, like a light source going from the top to the bottom. So let me load other buttons. Uh, let me lower bottom, the panning. So all these are just tests I was doing as I was coding the, the project. Um, I can also do this for an for an on off button. And uh, maybe some people are going to say, oh, why did you use Knoman? Yes, I could use Knoman, but the idea here is that this is going to be inside those stations. It's going to be handled inside. So let's say I can use variables for colors. And then I can choose different colors for the skin just by changing the, the color var variations. So that's all automated. So instead of using, let's say, instead of using red for this color, I could use color one, and then I set uh, color one as red on the, on the application. And if I want a blue skin, I set color one as blue, and then I have another skin, but in a blue, bluish version. So that's the main reason I created this. And the other reason is that I can, I can have all the process done internally by me in a way that is going to always work for the skin. So let's say you, you select a, another skin and it's going to render all the files internally. So this is a cheesy knob, but just for testing. You can see that it's also the, a minimum, a maximum, and a center value. You can see here, maximum, center, and minimum. So there's a lot of options for this, for this program. This, this is another thing that a lot of people are not going to see because it's just going to be internally done. And um, that's why I was kind of holding the, the news about this because I didn't want people to think less of this because this was a lot of work it was not easy but it's now running now the next step is to do what is it the interface which I have already uh, took a lot of time to draw the mock-up of the interface here uh, it may not look a lot but uh, this was a lot of work <laughs> So what is going to what is going to happen is that we're going to be able to show and hide few areas and if you don't want advanced options we can just not show the advanced options so it's going to be easier to use the the new interface but this is also giving me a lot of headache because it's hard to make and uh it's getting me stuck on a few areas, and that's why the delay. And um, I'm not going to explain everything in here, but uh, the idea is to be able to pin and unpin a few areas and uh, to show and not show some options and things like that. And then you have the modulations right 
on on here well it's going to make more sense once i have uh, all the things done and uh Well, it's going to take some time for me to finish this part. And this is also going to be using the script uh, that I created here for the skin. And um, it's going to define the whole thing. Because this part is going to be a bit harder because it has to be able to resize and I have to check if the font is going to resize correctly, otherwise I have to use a font resizing method that's different. So it's going to take some, some work to be done. I kind of have it in my head, but uh, since I had to double my medication since the stress of the, of the virus, uh, we all know, it's been harder to work on, the, on those things. But uh, maybe with all the positive thinking of everybody, I'm going to be able to work this out as I have done in the past with very hard stuff that I was able to do. So I guess that's it for this video. I have showed some, some knobs. I made some tests with images instead of, of uh, circles and stuff like that. And it also works very well. Uh, let me see if I, there's another one here. Mm, I have changed a few things. Oh, that's not good. Okay, ignore that one. I was testing the fonts, but I don't think I'm going to use the fonts inside of here. Because that can be very problematic. But uh, the ones I like most is this guy, but I have put a color somewhere. Fix it bottom. Out oh, here. Because if you right click, it inserts the position of the mouse where you are. So uh, I inserted that and it messed up with the brightness layer. This is the one I really like. And this is not using any picture or anything like that, but it's using a texture. So we have the, the blue circle and the metal radial textures, and also the gradient texture. Those are very large files, so they scale down very, very well. Okay, that's enough for this one. And please leave your comments on the video, what, what you think. And let's hope the world gets a bit more calm and I can continue working with this with more positive vibes. So thanks for watching.